like every year, but I can't today because I work in a few hours. So, yeah. I even bought a pumpkin. I just have a pumpkin now, and I don't even like pumpkin. So now there's just no point in even carving it or whatever, so that sucks. But I decided I was going to do something, and I have to make food and eat anyway. So here we are, a new take on a sort of fish stew. I was concerned that it was going to be too soupy, but now that I've poured it out and, you know, dished it out, it um, seems to be about right. Very careful not to bump the microphones. Okay, let's see how this tastes. Cause I haven't tasted it yet, and this is like a completely different take on it. Uh, it's got broccoli, carrots, fish, and oats, and then like some seasoning. So.
practically superfood. It's not the cheapest meal I could make, but... You can't just make dirt cheap and not have, you know, sustenance. Like, I could just grab a couple of packs of needles and then eat that. But, um, no. This hair is probably about as cheap as I'll go. Because I gotta have, you know, good stuff. This is about two, yeah, about two dollars for uh, 900 milliliters or so. I don't know how much that is in fluid ounces. 900 milliliters of relatively thick stew uh, with, you know, just good stuff. So, I'm pretty pleased with it. as you can see. I just realized I can't do color correction on this video because it'll take too long to export, which means it won't be up in time. than 
I expect it for sure. So it's been very helpful. And because of that, I won't have the um, the hit financially that I was expecting. Which is really helpful. It's nice to know that I can pay rent. You know, I used to be uh, two or three months behind on rent. Like when I first moved in. And I didn't get to pay that off before like a year ago. Like I was always behind. And so I was kind of dreading falling back. <laughs> back into that. But, you know, better times are ahead, I think. Hopefully. I'm um, currently doing some work at 7-Eleven. Every, yeah, I think it may be 20%. Two days every other week. Let me work this out. I don't bear with me. So per 10 days, I get paid two days. That's 20% employment. Alright, cool. Sick. <laughs> so yeah, I had, yeah. Sorry. I had 20% employment, which is not a lot of work and it's not enough to, you know, pay all the bills.
I think a dollar currently is about nine kroner. Yeah, a dollar currently is about nine kroner, so I need to times that by point zero nine. Yeah, I think that's right. No, no, about one point one. Yeah. 31,800, I can't remember what it was now, 20 I think, times 1.1, no, 0, 1, 1, yeah, there we go, okay, hold on, <laughs> I'm so bad at this, 0, 0. 0.11, there we go, it's pretty much exactly three and a half thousand dollars a month, if I worked 100% and it was all night time, then that would be uh, three and a half thousand dollars a month. Then we need to remove taxes, which at that point would be probably around 26-27%. So we times that by 0.73. So after taxes, I imagine I'd be sitting at about $2,500. And that's with healthcare paid, because that's how that works in Norway. Except dental is not included for some reason. Hence, you know, my financial issues. <laughs> but yeah. In the future. If I do manage to get 100% nighttime employment, that would be sick. I mean, I doubt that would be the case though, because there's other people who work nighttime, and I think I think they ultimately want the nighttime work because it's quiet and it pays more. work like half night time and half day time, we're still looking at about $2,200 after tax, which is significantly more than I've ever had before. stuff while eating. I hope you're not blind. I hope you enjoyed this eating video. It's been a while since I've done something like this, and uh, I'm glad I did it because, you know what, once you're out of the rhythm of recording, it is so hard to get back in. So, I'm proud of myself.